Hi everyone, Androbox and Box64 Droid already made their debut of the native version. Without any need of P root or CH root, we now get more responsive desktop and faster loading times. Also, the performance benefits from it. Although the benchmark results were pretty impressive, in early stage, however, not many games couldn't run, or the options in Androbox and Box64 Droid were very limited. So, only choosing wine version, resolution, where possible and so we were stuck with the settings of the devs which uh, limits the compatibility of games but that is now solved in the new box 64 for android with mobox some of you may know it already as project secret which was in the wild for a while so only chosen testers got a sneak of this project and the result was very promising To make uh, this for you as easy as possible, I will go in detail how to set up it and uh, how to use Mobox. Alright, before we begin, you need to check if your device is supported. So, as mentioned there, you need at least an Android 10 device or higher. If you are on lower Android version, so you are out of luck. It's quite understandable because also the hardware is very outdated on older Android devices. Next, if you are a Mali user, then you are limited for games till DirectX 9 because you can only use VirtualShell, so you are, you are not able to use Vulkan with DXVK. For DXVK, you need a Snapdragon device, it's with uh, the Adreno 610 and higher GPU. And many people already asked it, no, it doesn't need any root. Then there's the known issues part. Some of you might have a Tamux app crash and you can solve it with this script. Also in older devices, there may be a problem within the installation, uh, installation causing you waiting forever to load or it's very long, but uh, you can uh, change it in the compatibility settings to uh, reduce the installation of physics and VC resist. Now it's now um, a known problem too. Users of a Snapdragon 845 can't use DRI free. Mm, some of you in the past already said uh, you got a black screen or it doesn't load the desktop. So you definitely need to disable it to uh, run Mobox. Okay, if your device is within the range of requirements, we can now begin within the installation. Okay, I put a link of uh, GitHub for the Mobox, so you can open the page right away. Um, before you can use this script, you need to install these three apps. It's uh, Tamox, Tamox X11 and Input Bridge. So download each of them and install it into your device. And then we see. Okay, now you install these three apps. You can see it right there. It's Tamox, then X11, and Input Bridge. So, so when you're ready to go, you open up the Tamox app first, and you switch back uh, to your browser and click on this uh, copy icon of the script. So it's uh, so you can paste it later in your Tamox command, and in and in the Tamox app, uh, please allow the permission for it. It needs to use your device storage access. Otherwise, it doesn't work. And let's wait until it's uh, finished. Now it's finished, just type Mobox as it said. Hit enter and now wait for syncing patches and updates. So at first we start Wine to see if it's working with the first boot. 
just wait until the switch automatically to uh, the X11 app. So it says this may take a few minutes on my SD HN1 and SD870 it was very fast but on my uh, Xiaomi Pad 5 for example with a Snapdragon 860 it has a lower storage speed so it uh, really take uh, several minutes so please wait uh, patiently until it's finished don't force close the app otherwise um, you may get an error or may reinstall more books again. The message, by the way, uh, with can't open display, you can ignore. Um, I don't know why it's displaying, but it will work later. So you see, I fasten up the video and you can see it, it takes really long time to load. And that's why it's um, described in uh, the known issues. So if you are getting stuck in this scene like that um, you have to change in the compatibility settings before you run it for the first time but I will show it uh, you back then in the settings where you can uh, change it so if you encounter the same issue like me in this section if you see only the mouse cursor or you see just an X um, just go back to your Tamox app hit the one value and hit enter to end mobox and start trying it again and if you are getting stuck with a black screen again then you need to do the same step again but Additionally, um, force close the app and force close X11. Boot right now the two apps again, write more books again, start writing again, and then it should be do it. Um, some people say it, um, if you still have a black screen, it may help if you restart your phone or tablet, start from scratch, clean up all uh, your RAM, and do it again. This will fix it too. There are also maybe another issue on older devices. Again, I could not confirm it with uh, SD8 Chain 1 and my POCO F3 with SD870, but on my Xiaomi Pad 5, I got this problems which other users also had. So if you are running Mobox, got in your desktop, it may be the possibility that you are um, TF, um, that your file manager won't show up and will crash your mobox. So you, all you have to do is <laughs> restart the app again and restart box mobox again. Maybe it's an issue with mobox. I don't know, but uh, that's the way you can fix it. Also, if you are moving your mouse cursor to the uh, to the start button at the bottom, some users also said this. That the screen goes black and you also see it, the cursor only and then it failed again so there needs to be another setting to do so close mobox again go then go then to settings and we now go to the dynamic settings default uh, preset is 401 you see 41 and in this case just type the value 2 or 3 some of them some of the users also said 3 works too but for in my in my test the value 2 works and then start wine again this should be fixed so um, mobox is set up right out of the box already with dxvk and turnip for mali users you may set another driver because of virtual and you can also use only wine d3d okay before you start with any game or installation of games please check it with a benchmark first if your device is capable of rendering any 3d objects so therefore you i will put it in a link later it's the uh, environment mapping direct x9 benchmark 
you need to copy that in your drive C and drive D it will not work. So copy it to drive C, open the sphere map or the sphere exe and if you're getting an error message or something other then your device is either not supported or your settings are wrong. Sphere map is running then you are done. You can now begin with your game test installation and we see now get to the next step. Okay, let's take an example. You want to insta install a game and nothing happens or the game shows up an error. This can be easily fixed with another dynamic setting. So you can close more books first. You can hit the start button right there. Choose shut down. So all you, you have to do is choose settings again then dynamic setting. I don't have the perfect um, value for you for every game or every installation but um, you need to find out by yourself you can test it. For example with the GOG installer you can either set the value 2 or 3 and then save this configuration. Going to desktop. And running the setup again and you will see. Boom. GOG installer now is working. So you can see this dynamic setting is a very powerful feature you will use often uh, for many games. Because every game may benefit from other settings so you have to try it out. And there's no list uh, at the moment for every game, so you really, really need to test it first. So if a game is not running, don't give up first. You will see, okay, you open your task manager and you see the game exit disappears from task manager again. Oh, it's not working. Then go back to your dynamic setting, try a different value, come back, test it again. So as an example right there, like uh, Dune Spice Wars with the default configuration with 41, the game will disappear from the task manager. Uh, so you go right into the um, dynamic setting again. And thank God the preset with the radio 2 is very good already. Set it, try the game again and you will see, okay, the app now or the game exit don't disappear anymore in task manager and you see it load up the game and that's how you can fix the compatibility issues for many games so win later or box 64 droid and even android box has fixed settings so you are stuck with the games which are working with those settings but with mobox you are very flexible you can see here why it's very important to try out such different settings. So if you are really searching for a ready out of the box solution like WinLader or Box64 Droid, you can stay up there, but um, you are the, the games are dependent from, from the settings of the devs and that's then your choice. So I hope this video could help any other users out there which already tried Mobox and then got into some problems. This is now everything I got for Adreno devices. I'm sorry if I don't have a Mali device so I can't say about VirgiL. So you may ask testers out there which also have a Mali device. So thanks for watching. If you have still have further questions feel free to comment in the comment section. I will try to give you the answers if I'm able to answer at all. <laughs> Thanks for watching.